Hello and welcome to my channel in this video. Today I'm going to discuss a very interesting topic that is GNM. Along with this, I will also discuss GNM concept about ovary disease in the female reproductive tract that is PCOD. So let's start. So first of all, I would like to discuss what exactly is GNM. So let's talk about it. So GNM stands for German New Medicine. This is a medical theory and practice which is developed by Dr. Reichgerd Hammer in the 1980s. This theory states that disease is not caused by the external factors such as bacteria and the viruses, but by a conflict or the shock experiences that affect the psych, brain and corresponding organs. Now next we'll discuss the five basic biological laws of GNM. So let's talk about them. So GNM is based on the five biological laws that explain the relationship between the psyche and the body and how the psyche can affect the organs or the tissues in question. So let's talk about the five biological laws of GNM. So first biological law of GNM is the law of iron rule of cancer. This law states that all cancers originate from a severe, acute and isolating conflicts shock that occurs simultaneously in the psych, brain and corresponding organs. Now the second law is the law of two-phase healing. The law of two-phase healing states that all diseases, including cancer, progress in the two distinct phases. First is the conflict active phase and second is the healing phase. Now the third law of GNM is the law of ontogenetic systems of tumor. So this law states that each type of this law states that each type of cancer corresponds to a specific tissues of the body and the development of the tumors is related to the embryonic tissues embryonic tissues of origins. Now the fourth law of GNM is the law of nervous system. This law states that all symptoms and the diseases are caused by the brain which controls the body's organ and the tissues through the nervous system. Now the last law of GNM is law of microbes. This law states that microbes such as bacteria and the viruses are not the cause of the diseases, but are attracted to the disease tissues as a part of healing process. So these are the five basic biological laws of GNM. Next, very interesting, we will discuss about the GNM concept about ovary diseases in the female reproductive system, that is PCOD, and many other ovary diseases. So let's talk about this concept about ovary diseases. So as we all know that the ovary is a gonadal organ, which is a primary sexual organ in the females. There are basically two ovaries as we all know that, which are located in the pelvic cavity on the either side of the uterus. Ovaries contain the, ovary ovaries con ovaries contain the developing follicles which produce human egg cells, which is called ova or oocytes, in the cyclic manner, and are also responsible for the secretion of the some important hormones such as estrogen and progesterone that maintains the endocrine functions which are related to the reproductive system in the females. Now next we'll talk about the development of the ovary. So let's talk about the development of the ovaries. So the ovary condensed, ovaries develop from a condensed region in the embryonic gonadal ridge just medial to the, medial to the mesonephrons in a manner similar to the testes in the males. Primordial germ cells for primordial germ cells from the embryonic yolk sac move towards the gonadal region and join the developing gonads. 
Initially, the ovaries are located in the posterior abdominal ball and later descends together with their blood and nervous supply. This descent, this descent is guided by the condensed mesenchymal tissues named governaculum. Okay, so this is a complete development of the ovaries. Now, very important, what are the functions of the ovary? Here I am discussing the basics of the ovary. And afterwards, I will talk about the GNM concept about the ovaries. Let's talk about the functions. So basically, there are two functions of the ovaries, as we all know that. And the first function of the ovary is the maturation and the release of the female gametes, that is ova in a periodic manner and the second function is a secretion of the female sexual hormones that is estrogen and progesterone we all know that these are the function of the ovaries next we will discuss about the gnm concept about the ovary diseases so according to the principle of the german new medicine that is gnm the ovaries are a part of female reproductive system and they play a very crucial role in the body's response to certain emotional shocks or conflicts. In GNM, the ovaries are associated with the conflict theme of worthlessness or not being good enough. When a woman experiences a significant emotional shock related to this theme, it can trigger a biological response in the body that affects the ovaries. So this is the basic theme of the GNM. Now one by one we'll discuss. Firstly, let's talk about the brain. So we talk about the brain that how ovaries are connected with the brain or you can say how brain is connected with the ovaries. So it's very important to understand the brain level first. So the ovaries are controlled from the cerebral medulla of the brain at the area where it adjoins the midbrain. The right ovary is controlled from the left side of the brain and the left ovary is controlled from the right cerebral hemisphere. And hence, there is a crossover correlation from brain to the ovary. Now we will discuss about the biological conflict. It is a biological com conflict in the ovaries. So, the biological conflict linked to the ovaries is a loss conflict concerning the loss of the loved one in comparison, the loss conflict related to the female germ cells is more a premial nature. The fear of losing a beloved person can already trigger the conflict. The same holds true for the loss of a pet. Constant self-blaming follow a breakup, following a breakup or the death of someone close can keep the conflict active. So women also suffers loss conflict after miscarriages or abortions and a, and a loss conflict can be activated through an argument betrayal or unfaithfulness of a partner of a partner or a friend i hope this conflict is very much clear to you now next we will discuss conflict active phase so what happened in the conflict active phase? In this phase, necrosis, that is cell loss in the ovaries started because of the reduction of the estrogen producing cells. The estrogen level decreases due to the conflict related hormone imbalance. And depending on the intensity of the conflict, prolonged conflict activity result in irregular periods or you can say delayed menarche immunoria and infertility until the conflict is resolved and in the conflict active phase which is initial phase of the body's response to the emotional shocks the ovaries may experience cell proliferations or growth this is thought to be an adaptive response designed to help the body deal with the conflict now let's talk about the healing phase so in the healing phase or you can say conflict resolution phase which occurs once the emotional shock has been resolved the ovaries may experience cell loss or degeneration this is thought to be a natural part of the body's healing process so that's all in this video we have discussed about the gnm and the gnm concept about the ovary diseases like pcod or other ovary diseases in the female reproductive systems so basically we have discussed about the biological conflict 
and the conflict active phase and the healing phase so through this we were trying to know that what exactly is the cause behind the ovary diseases in the female reproductive system so through gnm concept we can understand the we can understand the basic cause which is behind the ovary diseases in the female reproductive system so that's all that's all for today see you guys in our next video till then stay connected with us for more videos like this don't forget to subscribe and comment below and yes press the bell icon for more updates stay safe and stay healthy and yes thanks for watching this video